the Rainbow Warden. Its colorful appearance, the result of a horrifying past. Capable of hypnotizing any mob with its skin, it has never been stopped as it hunts for a way into the forbidden dimension. Once a normal warden, his clan was being brutally massacred by the ancient villager known as the Warden Hunter. This villager hunted wardens for their valuable hearts, and using his one-of-a-kind blade, was able to kill them in a single strike. Terrified of the sword's power and seeing no other options, the warden ran into his city's forbidden portal. As he emerged on the other side, he suddenly began convulsing. The warden's body was filled with pain as his skin changed color and his face mutated. Able to see for the first time, the now rainbow warden became mesmerized by the colorful dimension he found himself in. His terrible suffering now replaced with a calming sense of peace and happiness. Just then, a booming voice shook the dimension. This is forbidden! Suddenly, the Rainbow Warden was flung backwards through the portal. Landing back in his ancient city, the Warden collected himself, only to see the corpses of his clan scattered throughout the square. Horrified, he tried to run back into the safety of the portal, just as its rainbow crystals all shattered at once. Roaring out in fear and anger, he began smashing his city to bits, breaking walls, toppling towers, and spreading soul fire everywhere. Stopping for only a moment, he looked at the portal, then back to his lifeless family. He began to shake and twitch uncontrollably. Their screams rang through his mind, and he couldn't stand it. He had to get back through that portal. He ran through it, back and forth, in a desperate attempt to leave, but he was trapped. Enraged, he let out a rainbow sonic boom. Vaporizing the skulk in its path, the warden ran out of the city into uncharted territory. However, his outburst was not without consequence. Investigating the sounds of destruction, the Warden Hunter had watched all of this unfold. He had never seen a warden like this before, but knew that its rainbow heart would make him rich beyond belief. While traveling through the caves, the Rainbow Warden began hearing strange noises. Curious, he continued forward until he found two strange creatures mining a vein of diamonds. Noticing the gemstones they held, the Warden was reminded of the portal's rainbow crystals. That was it. If he could get new crystals, then he could finally leave this horrible place. Shambling out of the dark, the players turned in shock to see the colorful monster. Suddenly hypnotized by his skin, they were unable to move. The Rainbow Warden released an unsettling laugh. Finally, he would be happy again. Violently smashing the player's bones out of their bodies, he took their stack of diamonds, only to realize that they weren't the same crystals he needed. He tossed them into a nearby lava stream. Where was he going to get his crystals now? Just then, the Warden noticed a light coming from below a pool of water. Maybe they were down there. He dove under to investigate, and swimming with ease, eventually found himself breaking out into the open ocean. As he emerged into the overworld, he noticed colorful coral and vibrant green trees everywhere. This must be where the crystals were. Swimming over to the beach, the warden jumped out of the water and felt an intense heat beating down on him. As he looked up at the sun, he suddenly caught on fire. Running around in a panic, he fell back into the ocean. Furious, he roared out, and almost as soon as he had finished his tantrum, an arrow hit him in the back of the head. Turning around, he noticed more players in boats. They were coming right for him, and kept shooting arrows. The Rainbow Warden angrily swam into a nearby cove as the players followed and the sun set. However, when the players reached the cove, there was no Warden in sight. Where had he gone? Suddenly, there was a loud scream and a splash. Snapping around, one player saw only his friend's empty boat. Scanning the waters, he saw movement as the bones of his friend floated up. Just then, he was dragged under, horrified, as the last thing he saw was the warden's ribcage opening up. Peeking his head back above the surface, the Rainbow Warden noticed that the sun had retreated back into the horizon. He decided to try again, and left the safety of the water. This time, however, he didn't start burning. Relieved, he continued into a forest, confident that his precious crystals were right around the corner. While walking, the Warden caught a strange but familiar scent. Suddenly, he began to shake and jolt uncontrollably, before he found himself back in his city, surrounded by his dead family. 
No, this wasn't what he wanted. Only rainbows, only happiness. Breaking out of his trance, the Rainbow Warden flew into a rampage. Running forward, he smashed through trees and blew a hole in anything that got in his way. Stumbling upon an unfortunate village, the Warden's chaos descended onto it. The villagers were immediately hypnotized by his skin, unable to move as he tore through their homes and slaughtered their families. Iron Golems weren't affected by the Rainbow Warden's mesmerizing powers, and all three of them retaliated at once. They were beginning to beat the beast back, however, they were sorely outmatched. With one blast of a rainbow boom, all three were reduced to ingots. Nothing was left standing in the end, as the village burned and the Warden continued forward. Minutes began to feel like hours in this world, and the longer he went without finding a rainbow crystal, the more his sanity drained. Eventually, though, his perseverance would pay off. Shambling down a road, the Rainbow Warden noticed something glimmering in the distance. Rushing towards the object, he recognized it as one of the very crystals he had been searching for. Overjoyed, he picked it up, only to be immediately surrounded by the Warden Hunter and his men. Finally, you're gonna make me very rich. Strangely, this ancient villager didn't seem to be affected by the Warden's hypnosis. However, while he could resist the colors, the rest of his men could not. Unleashing a sonic boom, the Warden knocked the Hunter back. He was going to get to that portal, and no one was going to get in his way. Tearing into the rest of the villagers' forces with ease, he closed in on the Hunter. But just before he could unleash another sonic boom, he began to feel a piercing heat. The sun was rising. Suddenly, he caught fire. Immediately, he retreated into a nearby cave while the ancient villager watched in awe. Now, he knew the Rainbow Warden's weakness. Escaping underground, the Warden was exhausted, but relieved that he finally had a crystal. He traveled back to his ancient city, hopeful that he could repair the portal. However, after dropping the crystal on the frame, he quickly realized that he was going to need more than one shard to fix it. Just then, the Warden noticed something. The shard was glowing. It hadn't done that before. Curious, the Warden moved it, only to see its glow fade then moved it back again to see its glow return. The crystal almost seemed to be pointing him somewhere. Excited at this discovery, the Rainbow Warden grabbed the shard and followed it further into the caves. The crystal eventually led him under a giant lush cave, and there, stuck inside the wall, was a large dark boulder. As the Warden got closer to this boulder, the crystal in his hand grew brighter than ever. Smashing into the rock, he was able to crack it open, revealing clusters of rainbow crystals. Yes! Now he could fix the portal! Now he could be happy! As he thought this, he was interrupted by the growling of other Wardens. He turned around to see survivors of his clan. They were hiding from the Warden Hunter, but even still were staying loyal to their duty to guard the Rainbow Portal. The Wardens growled again. They could sense that he had entered their forbidden dimension, and they were furious. However, this world was driving the Rainbow Warden crazy, and that portal was his only path to peace. Not even his family was going to get in the way. Laughing, he rushed forward, knocking them back with his superior strength. The other Wardens had no time to react as he finished off the last of his clan with a rainbow sonic boom. Immediately, he was hit by more haunting flashbacks of the other wardens as he relived their screams and suffering. He couldn't stand it. He had to get to that dimension. Pushing through the visions, he made his way into the rainbow crystal geo. Quickly harvesting the crystals, he then ran past the fallen corpses of his family towards the portal. Arriving at the city center, he was met with the warden hunter blocking his path. You won't be escaping me this time. Furious that this villager kept getting in his way, the Rainbow Warden roared. He was going to kill him, here and now. Just then, the ancient villager pulled out a horn and blew into it. Seconds passed before a chain of muffled explosions could be heard from the roof of the ancient city. Suddenly, TNT broke open the deep slate as sunlight flooded in. The Warden Hunter had laid a trap and with the help of his men, rigged explosives all the way down from the surface. Horrified, the Warden caught fire and ran around wildly trying to put out the flames while the ancient villager laughed in amusement. In a last ditch effort, the Warden decided to make a run for the water caves as the Hunter followed close behind. 
Making it into the cavern, he jumped into the water, extinguishing the flames just before they could finish him off, quickly diving under the surface. As the warden hunter entered, the villager looked around cautiously before making his way to the water. He knew the warden must have jumped in to save himself, but where was he now? Looking over the edge, the ancient villager barely had time to register the eyes staring back at him before he was pulled under the water. Emerging from the depths, the Rainbow Warden quickly returned to the Rainbow Portal. Pulling out the crystals, he placed them all along the frame until the center ignited. Finally, he was going to be happy again. However, just as the Warden was about to enter the portal, a rainbow figure appeared in front of him. I told you no! The Rainbow Warden was blasted backwards. Enraged, he retaliated with a sonic boom, but the entity was unfazed. The Warden was confused as his attacks had never failed before. Just then, the figure spoke, introducing himself as Rainbow Herobrine ruler of the Rainbow Dimension. He explained that since the Warden was now made of Rainbow Essence, he would be unable to harm any other Rainbow creature. The Warden roared out in defiance. If you won't stop trying to enter my dimension, then I'll just have to suck all the Rainbow Essence from this one. There will never be another portal. Arms outstretched, Rainbow Herobrine cast a powerful spell, a curse that swept throughout the world, forever changing the once rainbow crystals of Minecraft into simple amethyst. He then teleported out, leaving the Rainbow Warden trapped in the overworld. The Warden screamed out in agony, realizing that he could never return to the Rainbow Dimension.